previously on The Purge. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the Siren, all emergency services will be suspended for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. No! Not that one! Are you guys crazy? I'm not gonna kill anybody over video games. I mean, unless Scott continues to try to solve the survival horror, then it's going to be a bloodbath. God! What is wrong with you guys? I don't even know you. Weirdos. Last time on The Purge, we went through our entire collection. We combed through 1,600 games to try to decide what was actually killer and what was really filler. We got rid of over 140 games and a value of $1,765 Canadian. We're not looking to keep the cash. We're looking to add better games into our collection. Did we succeed? We're about to find out. All right, so we went through, we did all the purge. What we did is we made it easy. We go through the games mm -hmm. one at a time, and if you're gonna play it, you're gonna keep it, and if you're like, oh, I'm probably not gonna play it, get rid of it. You were, you were supposed to fight me on this, and you didn't really I didn't, I, you know what? <clears throat> it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be because there were a lot of games, so I'm like, what? I don't What think brought this on is because the game room was getting really crowded, and the shelves were full, and somebody was laying them on top on the side. Where the fuck did you want me to put them? Exactly. Like, tunnel so a hole I told them? I told you it was time for a purge. I know. So what we did is we got basically got rid of a bunch of filler and stuff that we aren't going to play. We do have totals of what price charting says that all that Take filler... Take that with a grain of salt. Yes. Yeah, I was absolutely terrified that I was going to be stuck with a pile of games, because we got rid of somewhere close to 150 games of the collection. Uh, not quite 150, but it was yeah. very close. Some At point, the end of it, we were stuck with quite 50, a pile of games. I think 52 or 54 games. Yes, that... now I knew there was still value left in that pile, and I didn't want to sit on it. So what I did was I went on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace, and I said, listen, I've got 54 games. I think it was 54. I think it was 54. Less than $3 a game, $150. They're yours. <laughs> Come pick them up. They're coming out of our personal collection, so yeah. we can vouch for any game that was in there that it's in good shape yeah. and most of them had their manuals. They, I think all but they, it, like maybe yeah. a few. They came to the house, picked them up, so we know where the kind of thing there is like Yeah. You know. The goal at the end of this was to add killer titles, go from filler to killer, and we were hoping that we could at least get half of what we estimated from what we traded. So before we disclose what differences in numbers and where how poorly or how good and you we guys, did. And you guys saw yeah. what we actually traded? Yeah. Let's go through the stuff it's, that we picked it's up. It's going to be fast, guys. Yeah. But they're killer I, titles. I tell her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Got an NES game. Yes. First one. We we said we were done collecting NES. <laughs> Kickmaster. 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 I've never seen it around town no. at all. I, I, I can barely recall gameplay of it. All I knew is I knew it was going to be good. Or it's a, a you know highly sought after title on the NES. Absolutely, yeah. So we picked that up. It was marked at $135. Yeah. And so, but it's not coming out of our pocket. No. It's, we got it with the trade at one of the places we went. Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn yeah. on the Wii went for $89.95. Again, no and cash no out cash, of our pocket. Straight up trade. Yeah. I honestly, I, we were kind of, I was kind of just trying to get the most value. Yes. Because I had cash left over and I was like, well, I guess I'll try the Fire Emblem series. I don't know anything about it yet. It's RPG, so. 
there's a good chance I'm going to stumble across it eventually. And I know that might seem crazy for some people to say, yeah. well, why would you chance it on something? Well, because we can resell it. It's a, this, it's a highly sought after title. Yes, title. this could sell right. or, or trade into something if, if I don't like it. If he doesn't like it. I always have a hard time pronouncing this, but I'll try. I can do it. Shin Mega. Shin no, Mega, no, Shin Megami. never even. Shin Megami. Devil Summoner Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. He can't say it, but I can say it. And that was another expensive game, 179. Another one. I've seen gameplay, and I honestly, I don't know if I want to <laughs> play it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it eventually. Yeah. And then if I, if I don't like it, then it's. It possibly trade to something we want, maybe like a little rose or something. Oh. <laughs> you know, something against that. Like, better to have this one thing in the collection than like, you know, 50 yeah. filler games. Absolutely. We have Drekengard number two, oh. and it was marked at 89.95. This I actually do want to play. Yeah. I don't have the first one yet. I have two and three. You don't have the first one yet, but. But there's a, an old co-worker from yeah. a previous job. He's getting rid of a bunch of games. Dennis was over visiting him, and, and Dennis took a bunch of pictures, couldn't use his phone, couldn't send us the pictures. I don't know why he's old man. So he actually drove here with the pictures on his phone. <laughs> he showed us, and, I, and I, everything I had except for the first Drekking card. I'm, I'm definitely interested. Ask him how much he wants for it there. So I haven't gotten that yet. Maybe it'll be in a pickup video yeah. soon. That'd be cool. I got Romancing Saga 3 on the Switch. I really don't know what to think about the Romancing Saga stuff. Tell me your thoughts. I think they're all PAL, like on the Super okay. Famicom stuff. I'd have to get that, and then I don't even know if they're English. I'm not sure. I'm kind of wondering if you I guys... I think there might be actually uh, something on the PS2. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments if you can help me out on that yeah. series. You think I like it, or should I stay away from the rest of it? Or... I'm kind of wondering if you guys are thinking what I was thinking too when we were doing these trades was well why won't you just leave it on credit the fact of the matter is at this one spot if we bought it that day whatever you trade versus whatever you buy there's no, no tax. tax on it but <clears throat> if you save your credit then there will be tax on that next purchase next so that's why we would prefer to do it this way and we get our best bang for our buck I got Valkyrie Profile Lenneth on the PSP Beautiful big yellow sticker. Jen says it makes it. No, thicker. I do not. No, I do not. I take vi much issue with the sticker. Don't, makes we'll it. Peel, clean yeah. that later. I do and take the issue on the back too. with that saying. And I know some people love it because it shows the history of where it was bought. Yeah. For me, as an artist, it covers the artwork, <laughs> so I don't this, like it. This one I have the sticker on the inside. It came in at sixty-four ninety-nine, sixty-five bucks. Yeah. I know. Price charting wise. Right there, it comes in at 75, so it was ten dollars cheaper, which should have went through the list and compared to prices. Is. Yeah. Yeah. This one here it has been my curse. <laughs> Fuck. This is my curse. Final Fantasy Tactics: The War of the Lions. Not the first time we've got it. Not the first time I've got it. A little story with this one. I'll run through it quick. First time I, I've been looking for a long time trying to get a black label copy. Mm -hmm. Finally found one for a decent price on eBay. Bought it. Shows up. It's the greatest hits copy. M effort. Yes. Um, sent a message back. This and that. We went back and forth. Guy swears something happened there. I, I, like, Whatever. I don't know. The stock. Somebody, somebody got the other one when they were supposed to get the greatest hits. So, what we did is he knocked half the price off and it was ended up around $15 on it. Yes. And I was like, okay, I'll use it against trade. That was in with the stuff that we traded because I did not yeah. want a greatest hits <laughs> copy. And like an idiot, at the second stop we made, I picked up that and this. I looked at that one and I forgot to look on the inside of this one. No manual. So now he still doesn't have a complete copy of this game. <laughs> the greatest hits had the manual in it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. And I know sometimes Greatest oh, Hits manual man. will have Greatest Hits on the yeah. manual. They don't on the PS2. So this one came up as 15 bucks. Now, that's probably because there's no manual in it. Now, the one that I traded in with the manual in it, I think they're selling it for 30 Ah, <laughs> for God's sakes. We have Final Fight. Yes. Number two. This is the one where you can play co-op. And I think we're going to play this and one today. We're playing that tonight. Yeah. yeah me and you. Been looking for this for a long time, slipped through my fingers a few times. Mm -hmm. You know I'm a big fan of beat-em-ups. 
we're gonna have fun with that. Oh yeah, and I, I was like, you're getting this game. I, I think I even went down and got it for you. I was like, no, no, this is happening. Yeah, we're went, getting this yeah, game. Yeah, I hummed and hawed because that was a hundred bucks, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I think it comes in at... 97. 97. So we so, didn't. <laughs> sometimes those more expensive that heavy hitters. That place you know? tends to be re full retail. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then the other one I got there was Lunar Silver Star Harmony mm -hmm. on the PSP. This one does have a manual complete. Yeah. <laughs> this one also, I do believe, was a hundred bucks. I don't know if I put the sticker in here. Um, no. Oh, it's right on the oh, side. It's on the side. Hundred bucks. I didn't clean any of these. Hundred games. hundo, and it comes in. Where do I have it on my list here? Right here. At eighty-two. Yeah. Price charity. Overpay, but it was trade. It was trade, exactly. No. Last one was an eBay purchase. Yep. Yeah. Cheapest I've seen it anywhere. Locally, we can, usually we do better locally. Yeah. This time I did better in. Uh, on eBay. on eBay. Yeah. 50 bucks. Valkyrie Profile 2 on the, on the uh, PS2. Because we had some cash left yep. over. and Complete copy. Real nice. <sighs> he actually had, the same seller had a copy of uh, the first Valkyrie Profile. I really, really want it. I really want so you to expensive. have it too. <laughs> it's really want like over 400 too. bucks, I think. I know. Well, eventually. Eventually. Maybe some of those get traded towards that. Who if knows? I don't like them. Who knows? We actually got 1037 in value, a difference of $728 we lost. Because price trading had all that filler yes. at 1765. And there's some of those games some of those games are just I knew there was no way. There were sports titles in there that aren't you couldn't you can't give them away. Like yeah. the hockey games on the original Xbox. They're, they're, yeah. they're almost worthless. Nobody wants like, them. Like you can't take a sports game to a pawn shop. They won't take I mean them. one of the pawn shops said, look, these are all going on our blow up bin. It's, yep. you're getting almost nothing. We got a dollar them. a piece for them. I said blow them out. And, I and didn't want to keep them. No, we don't want them. Yep. There's no point to keeping them. And yes, could we set up an eBay account and try selling them ourselves? Yeah. yeah. Get eBay fees, then you, get, and you get the hassle and all this stuff. I just want I it to want, be done with it. Done. I want yeah. to be done. I want to push that out. I want to bring new stuff in. I want yep. to clean up the room. And it's actually really enjoyable to come down here now. And we have space to grow. And I have grow. space to grow now. Yeah. That's the... At the end of the day, are you happy with, with what I got? With what we got and what we traded? See, I didn't get everything that we traded. There wasn't anything that even remotely no. had any question on keeping it or not. So when we do this a second time, which I, I couldn't think... even tell you what I got rid of. That's no, how much I can't filler either. Was, right? When we do this a second time, I think it's inevitable that we will. It'll happen because I'm already looking around the room and yeah. like, yeah, I, don't I think really it'll need be that. harder the second time. It will be because um, I think going forward, our collecting habits have changed now. Yeah. I have things that I want, which yeah. wasn't true even probably a year and a half, two years ago, definitely not. So what do you want? Because we had talked about saying that at the end of this video. Yeah. What are your wish list items here? I would love to have Kuan. I would love PS2 to, game. Yeah, on PS2. Or. There was a game that oh pop up the prices of those. There these are big pricey games that you're What was the other on. one on PS2? I can't ever yeah, Rule of Rose. Yes, Rose. I would love to have Rule of Rose. another big one. Big there was one, one there. That was a pricey game. There was one that i seen, and he's always making me buy games. Steve Craig Retro Games. I'd seen on his channel that he traded with someone. I was like, I want that one too. Survival Horror Guys and RPGs, always expensive. And that's, I want a, Survival Horror. You want I've RPG? I've been on the RPG kick. Yeah. And they're expensive. So. Survival Horror is cool, but I... I play them if you're here with me. I yeah. don't like to go and play them when I'm by myself yeah. playing games. I'd rather play a, a, a really interesting story. Because I, I, I don't get I scared. Understand that. I, I don't understand get scared. That. I don't get as scared now yeah. either. It's You're almost desensitized a bit, but yeah. what would you like to put in the collection? Ooh, first Valkyrie profile yeah. on the PS1. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a still probably maybe like 10 PS1 games that are all RPG stuff. Or like, yeah. I constantly am looking at videos, like top 10 videos and stuff there. Oh like yeah. JRPGs on PS1 and PS2, and I actually made a list of stuff. I know. <laughs> and then, I mean, if we had big money, there's the uh, one on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> oh, um, Crusader of Senti. Crusader of Senti. Yeah. Yeah. All, I actually bought 
Yeah. On eBay, and I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's like I've spent forty dollars. Spent forty dollars on worse things. Yeah. It's uh, like a Chinese knockoff of two hundred and twenty and one. And yeah. And it lists though. There's maybe ten games that you can actually do save files on it and everything. That's oh, one you of did them. buy that? I did nice. buy it. There's a bunch of them there. Like this. I know Mondan talks highly of Lufia. Um, oh, SNES, yes. That would be cool see, too. See, we're gonna have to get an EverDrive. For, I know. For that, but when sure. you get into like disc-based games, mm -hmm. like, without modding a machine, it's like I don't, don't want to have to you, do that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really I want to play it on original hardware. Yeah. Whether that's the way I have to do it, but I find because I have my uh, PlayStation One Mini modded, and it doesn't yeah. have everything because it has one of those. Is it really uh, modded blue, though? Yeah. True blue stick. Well, I can't even remember yeah. what it's called, and I don't touch it because I don't see the games. They're not in front of me, and I couldn't even tell you where it's on. That. That's true. I know there's a bunch of good high-end games, mm -hmm. but they might not even work. That's true. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's our From Filler to Killer episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you didn't hate what we traded. What are your thoughts? Yeah, what are your what thoughts? Are your thoughts? you think I should have kept all the filler? Is there something, is that something you guys anticipate you'll have to do in the future, or yeah. have you done? And I, I honestly think I would rather come down here and really enjoy spending my time down here than feeling like I was just packed in and just, it, it, was, it was overwhelming cluttered and I wasn't was. enjoying coming down and playing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, until next time, game on. Game on. It's game time. There's no one around to bug me. So I'm gonna play my game.